Do you know what is crazy? No, what's crazy? I was hoping you would know. I would know what? What is crazy? Should I introduce the podcast or... Or what? Or are you going to do it? I have already done it. The podcast has begun. Oh, uh, you didn't say your intro. This is an off-script cold open. Joe, you're not supposed to script in Hello off- everyone and welcome okay. to Games Over Coffee. I am your host, Joe. With me today is famed YouTuber and game design influencer, Devon. Uh, that is incorrect. Although, yes, my name is Devon. Please greet the audience. Um, uh, hi, audience. The topic for today is perspective. Uh, specifically two perspectives on lazy game design. I have heard about lazy game design, but I do not know what it means. Uh, lazy game design doesn't always mean lazy game design. It's typically used when someone is complaining about a system that they don't like. Things like, uh, like bullet sponges. Games are so imaginative. Do they have gun sponges as well? G a, a bullet sponge is a term that gamers use to complain when an enemy has uh, too much health, you know, so shooting them seems to do nothing, thus being a, a bullet sponge. So a bullet sponge is part of a broken system? Well, that's certainly what it seems like, but it depends on the game and how the system is integrated. For example, in the game like uh, The Division, a lot of people complain that the enemies took a very long time to kill, and the creative director of The Division 2, uh, Julian Garrity, even had... Uh, he admitted that the first game did suffer from a lot of bullet sponginess. Since the game has gameplay that's mainly tactical and cover-based shooting, uh, having battles with single enemies that take a long time to kill doesn't exactly feel challenging, it more feels laborious. I do not understand. How is that lazy design? Uh, well, from a design perspective, it's easy to make decisions like this. Uh, say you have a game where you shoot enemies. I have a game where you shoot enemies. No, I... Uh... Okay, uh, so there's this game where the player shoots enemies. Now, in order to make that game harder as the player progresses through it, how would you do that? I would increase the challenge. Right, and the first thing that comes to mind is usually either increasing the amount of enemies or increasing their health. However, depending on what skill that the player is building up, they might not find it challenging. For example, you know that game, that shooting target game on uh, Wii Sports? I am aware of that game. Okay, so even though that you shoot things in that game, making targets take longer to destroy, wouldn't challenge the player. Why would that not be challenging? Because the skill that the player is building up is one of aiming and agility. So having targets that take more than one hit to destroy wouldn't be challenging so much as it would just be annoying. You mentioned perspective. What does that have to do with lazy design? Because the system itself is not lazy design. Using that system without thinking is lazy design. In what ways would a bullet sponge system work well? In a game where the skill is about increasing your power like Vampire Survivors. In Vampire Survivors, your character shoots automatically, so the player almost doesn't focus on aiming at all. The game is far simpler. The player manages their power by choosing specific upgrades and killing a lot of enemies. And because the player is focused on growth and not shooting, facing against uh, bullet sponge enemies makes you feel powerful, like it's a really, really great battle because uh, this is something you feel attached to. You've worked so hard in choosing specific types of upgrades to get to this point. The skill is about management. Exactly. A game where the player can kill lots of enemies without needing to focus on specifically shooting each and every one. And there's other games like this too where the player focuses mainly on growth as opposed to accuracy. I mean, that's pretty much, I guess, the entire shoot 'em up genre. But usually in a lot of shoot 'em ups, the player follows a singular upgrade path, whereas Vampire Survivors makes that path customizable. The skill is about choosing upgrades. Exactly. There's a uh, there's a shmup game I talked about on my channel called Operation Steel uh, that mixes the shoot 'em up genre with uh, roguelike elements. It was pretty cool. That was very insightful. My life has changed. Joe, you don't have to say that every single time. Thank you for listening. Goodbye, everyone. Okay.